Hi everyone, this is Ryan Reagan, the founding partner of HTXL. So I'm making this video because recently a lot of IB students actually tell me that they want help on Englanglet SL Paper 1. They're not, they're not sure how to get a level 7 for that paper. Okay, so this is why I've created this video today to share with you the level 7 tips you need to get a level 7 in Englanglet SL Paper 1. Okay, this video I've made together with our IB Englanglet experts at HTXL. All of our experts have got level 7 themselves before. So all the tips I'm sharing with you today are actually proven to work in real actual exams. So if you just follow this video, I assure you, you can get a level 7 as well. Okay, so today I'm going to share with you the general structure you should use, use in your essay to get a level 7. More on top of that, we're going to go through a sample essay that's written by a student who got level 7 herself, okay? So in this, you'll learn a lot from the sample essay, okay? Uh, the essay structure and an essay sample. Let us look at the mark scheme first, okay? So basically in SO, you will give, be give, you need to analyze one text and you need to analyze it from the perspective of the context, purpose, audience and stylistic feature. These four aspects, right? You should know this, right? So what are the four criteria? The first criteria is whether you understand the text. So you need to be able to comment on the text type, the purpose and the context, okay? This is for criterion A, okay? So actually it's easy. If you want to do well, you need to be able to understand context, purpose and the text type well. The second criteria is for stylistic feature. So whether you can identify literary devices, the language, the tone, the visual, visual features, all these kinds of things, okay? Stylistic feature includes literary device and also visual devices as well and the tone and the language that is used and the register, these kinds of things. Okay, later we'll go into more detail. So criteria C is how you write. So whether your your ideas are written in a way that uh, that is that makes logical sense. So you need to break down your paragraphs in Lot in a logical manner. Okay. Actually, later when we before we go to the sample, we're going. I'm going to show you a sample essay outline, and if you follow that outline, you should get very high marks for Criterion C, because because your if you just follow the outline, your your essay will be structured in a very logical way. Okay. Next is use of language. So it's how will you write. Okay. Um, it doesn't. Ha you don't have to write in very complicated words, but you just need to use the words accurately. Okay. To make sure that the language is appropriate okay for your essay so now let's really look at the essay outline okay so we'll look at um so this essay outline is used by a lot of level seven students okay so if you follow this outline you, you dramatically increase your score and you, there's a very great chance you can get a seven okay so let's look at this outline paragraph one should be an introduction right so what is what should be included in introduction first is your comment on the text type so for example if it let's say it's a blog post on a site for for skateboarding and enthusiasts and enthusiasts right you can say something like this text is published in in a website for for these skateboard fans and then it is a blog post something like that okay so just comment on the text type where it is published that sort of basic information okay then you can one thing I want to bring to your attention is that um, you should, for purpose, actually there, you know that you need to comment on the purpose of a text, right? You need to know that there's primary purpose and secondary purpose. Primary purpose is on the surface level. What is the purpose of the text? Normally this is very easy to notice, okay? It's the primary purpose, the main purpose, okay? And it's very obvious. but there's also a secondary purpose, which is a deeper purpose that can only be discovered by by analyzing literary devices. So first you comment, you talk about what the primary purpose is. So you can say the primary purpose is blah 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 blah. And then you can then you can talk about the secondary purpose. You can say something like through the use of literary and stylist uh, literary devices and visual devices, the sec the the writer also tries to deliver, tries to achieve his secondary purpose, which is to, and then you can write about the secondary purpose. Okay, so in paragraph one, just comment on the primary purpose and secondary purpose. Just briefly talk about what is the purpose, what is the primary purpose and what is the secondary purpose, okay? So, so as I told you, the secondary purpose is the deeper purpose, is the more implicit, implicit purpose, okay? Deeper and implicit purpose, like I say. It's not as obvious, okay? You, and the secondary purpose, is on, it's only clear, act, by analyzing the literary devices, okay? 
Then you can write a concluding sentence for paragraph one. You can say something like, in order to understand the concept of the text and the purpose that the writer aims to achieve, context, audience, and stylistic purpose at devices will be discussed in this essay. Okay, something like that. So then you conclude your introduction. Okay. Okay, so before we go to the sample essay, let's look at let's continue to look at the outline. Okay, so Second paragraph, you can focus on commenting on the context, audience, and primary purpose of the text. Okay, primary purpose is the obvious purpose. Okay, so first you comment on the context. Context refers, to, and you need to use reference to the article to back up your analysis on the context. Okay, and you should comment on how the context influenced the ideas that are conveyed in the, in the writing. Okay, so context could be cultural context, the time that the, that the article is set in, is it a is it based on a modern story or is it based on a historic story? That sort of thing. Okay, and what culture is it set in? Okay. Number two, you can comment on the target audience. Talk about who do you think the author is trying to target with the essay. To do this, you need to analyze symbols or language use that suggest who the audience is. So, for example, if the if the writing uses really childish language, language, just as an example, you can comment on the language and say, so therefore we can deduce that the author is trying to appeal to a very young audience, right? Okay, then you can comment on the primary purpose. So you can say, it is also clear that the primary purpose is to blah, 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 blah. You can use references to the article to back up. Why do you think that is the most obvious purpose? Okay, then you sort of lead to the next paragraph. You can say something like, however literary and visual devices use suggest that there are more implicit purposes that the author is trying to achieve, which will be analyzed in the following paragraph, okay? So you are saying that the liter through the literary devices and visual devices, we know that there is more underlying purposes that the author is trying to achieve, and this is going to be a talked about in the next paragraph, okay? Then in the next paragraph, we basically analyze the these literary devices used. So third paragraph, we focus on analyzing the literary devices and the visual devices. Okay, so the topic sentence, you can say something like this. Various visual and literary devices are used by the writer to influence the audience in many ways. Okay, so basically this whole paragraph is dedicated to analyzing devices and how the, how the writer uses these literary devices to achieve his secondary purposes. Okay, then you basically analyze the visual and literary devices used in the text. You can do this in chronological order. You can analyze how these literary devices help the author to achieve his secondary purpose. Okay, so for each, you basically keep identifying devices used. And then you comment on how it affects the audience. And how it helps the writer to achieve his secondary purposes. Okay. Next paragraph, we can comment on the language, tone, and register. Language, what does that mean? Language is where you're talking about like whether it's a formal language, whether it's simple language, for example, or is it complicated language, or is it like, are there a lot of jargons, that sort of thing, okay? Tone, we're talking, for example, a tone may be sarcastic tone, or formal, or um, a serious tone, or a conversational tone. These are all different types of tone. Register, basically register refers to formal and non-formal. Okay, so you analyze on these three aspects. Okay, the topic sentence, along with, for this paragraph, your topic sentence can be something like this. Along with formal and visual devices, the use of language, tone, and register also greatly gives insight to how the writer achieved his purpose for the text. Okay, so this is your topic sentence. Basically, this whole paragraph is going to focus on the register, tone, and language. Okay, so first you can comment on register, whether it's formal and informal. Then you can comment on for example, if it's a formal tone, you can say, okay, so this suggests that um, the, the text is appealing to a more professional audience, okay? And the text, it helps the text to be more informative by using a formal language, okay? Something like that, just giving you an example. Tone, it can be like sarcastic tone, okay? So you can say a sarcastic tone is used to mock a certain figure. For example, this can be an, just a purpose, an example of a purpose and tone. Right, and you can comment on the language. So if it uses simple language, for example, you can say it helps the author to it helps the author to more ease to communicate its ideas to audience in a way that is easier to understand. Something like that. Okay. So this paragraph four, we will show you in the sample essay you will see properly how it is done. And then your conclusion, you just briefly summarize that the that the stylistic devices tone 
register and language used in the text helps the writer to achieve its purpose to the audience. Okay, so this is just like you just need to briefly write this. Okay, later I'll show you how to conclude. But conclusion is generally not very important for marks. Okay, you just need a conclusion to make your essay look like it's complete. Okay, basically you just need to You just need to conclude by saying that. The stylistic devices, tone, and register language used in the text helps the writer to achieve its purpose. That's really all you really need to write. Okay, so next, let us move on to the sample essay. And we'll look at a paragraph at a time so you can see how a level 7 student writes. So now, let us look at the sample essay, okay, from the very first paragraph. So the first paragraph, as we talked about just now in the outline, what do we do in the first paragraph? Comment on the text type. Right, so you can see how this person commented on text type. Text two is an article which was published in 2014 on a website called blah blah blah. The text itself is an article, but the majority of text two is made up of infographic, along with the text part of the article. Plays a major role in helping the writer achieve his aims. Okay, so basically you can see how the the student who is writing here, this level seven student, is just commenting on the text type. Okay, so you can see the article. Is actually published on a website. Okay, it is an infographic together with a text, and the infographic plays a major role in helping the writer to achieve his aims. Okay, then as you can see in the outline just now, we need to comment on the primary and the secondary purpose, right? The primary and secondary purpose. Okay, so you can see how this student did this in terms of the purpose of the text. It can be inferred through. The many devices that this text aims to educate the target audience on the re-election process of ICC. So ICC is the International Criminal Court, judges which takes place termly every nine years. However, it should be noted that although this may be the primary purpose, okay. So now the student is transitioning to talk about the secondary purpose, because as I said, as I told you just now in the introduction, you talk briefly talk about the primary purpose and also the secondary purpose. So it says, however, it should be noted that although this may be the primary purpose, there are other aims of the of this text which the writer tries to achieve, but by manipulating visual images in the form of cartoon and stylistic devices, right? Then, so now he's talking about their secondary purpose. Aspects of the ICC are implicitly criticized and stereotyped sexism and the contemporary irrelevance of ICC are also discussed in this text. Okay, so there are other aims and then it also talks about how the ICC is criticized, okay? So this is the secondary aim, which will be explored more deeply. Okay, in order to understand the concepts of the text and the purposes that the writer aims to achieve, context, audience, stylistic feature will be discussed in this essay. So this is just to round off the introduction. Look at the second paragraph. So second paragraph, as we mentioned just now, uh, sorry, I mean, yeah, for the second paragraph, you need to analyze the context, audience, and the primary purpose, right? So context, let's see how this person does it okay so first it starts off with, with analyzing the context in order to gain a true understanding of the text and to which odd particular audience it appeals to its context must be understood okay it can be deduced from this text that it is primarily an online platform on which political enthusiasts come together okay to discuss topics concerning this field okay through the different hyperlinks hashtags such as ICC, Kenya cases, DRC, Ivory Coast, and tabs of the website, which such as opinion, conversation, etc. It is reflected that this website is not only used to educate its audience, but to promote discussion on the on about particular topics, right? So you can see the context is that it's a website for political and enthusiasts, right? And then and then um, this this student also pointed out that through using these hashtags and the fact that um, there are tabs on the website that says conversation and conversation, uh, opinion and conversation, it is reflected that this website is not only used to educate the audience but also discussion. So the website is designed to educate audience and discussion and for discussion. Okay, so what is the effect of, of this? Thus, from this, it is demonstrated that although this text primarily is used to inform and educate. It also aims to promote discussion of the topic, right? So this whole part is about the context, okay? To summarize for you, basically the context is that it's a online platform and then it's it's designed for discussion, okay? This, this is the context, is to promote discussion on the subject, okay? So there, there's also references from the article that this student used. Yeah, then the next part is you want to talk about the, the audience. So let's see how this 
student talks about the audience. I've highlighted it here. Okay. So this. So let's see how he talks about it. So first, in terms of the audience, there is no explicit hint that points to a specific audience of a certain geographic location. Okay. So there. However, the use of standardized English and the main theme discussed in the text itself, the ICC, connotes that this article and infographic is open to an international audience. Okay, so you need to use references from the article to back up who your audience is. So for this case, as I said just now as a text, it's like a it's like a uh, infographic and a short text, right, on a website. Um, and that discusses the International Criminal Court, right? So it's, it's not a specific audience, it's not targeted to a specific country. There's because it is talking about the International Criminal Court, right? And standard English, standardized English is used. English is international language. So this suggests that there is no particular audience in terms of a specific country. However, it is suggested in an article that the primary purpose are for individuals who is eager to expand their knowledge on the ICC judge election process. So this is stated in an article. So this, it is clearly stated in an article that the primary audience are people who are eager to expand their knowledge on the ICC judge election process. And then, however, it can be, so now they're going deeper. On, on the surface, there's people who are interested in the in the election process of the ICC judge. But if we interpret it for it further, we can see that there's a secondary audience. So just like purpose, there's primary purpose and secondary purpose. So secondary audience means that on, it, audiences of the article that are not, that are only implicitly that are suggested implicitly. Okay, secondary audience are individuals who have some background knowledge on the world of politics. So this person is saying that the primary audience are people who learn want to learn more about the judge election process. This is clearly stated in the article. However, the language that is used in the text suggests that there is a secondary audience. Secondary audience are people who already have a basic background knowledge on the world of politics. So why? Because it is reflected through the use of words from a specific lexical field. So the very specific words, terminology are used. For example, Roman statute, assembly of state parties. These are very specific terms that only people with a foundation knowledge of politics would know. Okay, so this, so basically the point that the student is made is that, making is that because the article is, it is clearly indicated that the text, inside the text, that it, the text is designed for people who want to learn more about the ICC judge election process but through the language of the text it can be also it is also implied and we can it is also clear that the secondary audience of the text are people with knowledge of the polit of, about politics right because of the terminology that is being used okay so you can see how the student writes about it okay now let us look at the next part so as, as we mentioned just on the outline the next part of this paragraph you talk about the purpose right you mainly but you mainly focus on the primary purpose then you lead on to the next paragraph because you say okay this is the primary purpose then you can talk about how the secondary purpose um, is delivered through using literary devices which will be explored later on so let's see how the student does this okay so an understanding of the context and audience points towards the purposes that the writer has in text too okay Although it explicitly states in line 12 of the article that it aims to educate the reader about the re election process of ICC judge, so this is the primary purpose, to educate readers about the election process. It is explicitly uh, stated, so it's the primary purpose. Now it talks about, then it talks about the secondary purpose. You can read here. That it aims to educate the reader about the, there are, okay, sorry, this is a secondary purpose here. There are critical undertones to the text whereby evidence, sexism, gen and gender stereotypes are emphasized by the reader. Okay. So, so another purpose of the of the of the secondary purpose is to talk about gender stereotypes and sexism. Okay. Then thus thus it can be seen how there is a primary and a secondary purpose. The primary purpose is made explicit, whereas the Secondary purpose is more implicitly shown to the reader. How this is achieved is will be further explored on this on in this essay. Okay, so basically in, in, in this paragraph, he talks about like the primary purpose, then he talks about how the secondary purpose is made more subtly and more implicitly through literary devices, which will be looked at in this next paragraph. Okay. Okay, now let us look at the uh, third paragraph. The third paragraph is about lit analyzing the stylistic feature. This should be the hardest paragraph to write. You really need to analyze the text 
and then analyze the devices that are used in the text and analyze how those devices used help the author to achieve different types of purposes okay but in more implicit purposes right so uh, this sample essay we're looking at by the way is based this is ans this is an answer to um, to the May 17 paper one SL May 17 time zone zero paper one okay so just because of copyright reasons we can't show the we can't show the uh, we can't show the paper here but if you are interested you can look at the paper yourself as I'm explaining how this essay to you okay so basically in this essay this level student level student level seven student she basically analyzed the entire piece in a chronological order okay it's very long so in this video I won't have time to go through every line with you but I can look at we can look at some examples of how how this student analyzed the stylistic feature so I highlighted this here I think it's worth this uh, I want to explain this to you okay so let's read this together let's read how the student analyzed the stylistic device okay so however the hyperbolic image of the character brings a humorous humorous element to text to the text as in 1998 when the statue was adopted was not a time when people dressed as displayed by the character analyzed okay so these people in the comic they're dressed up although it's not in, they're dressed up in very old-fashioned clothing their hyperbolic effect is further intensified through the images of the men in suits situated on the bottom of the frame where their modern entire starkly contrasts the character with much larger and in a much more traditional clothing above them okay this use of contrasting visual representations there are some judges um, from the previous term who are wearing very old clothing and then there are more people with modern clothing right so this contrasting visual representation demonstrates how the reader manipulates visual image to achieve its purpose which is to educate the readers about the history of the ICC and how it operates using humor so it's trying to say that um, the the ICC has been there for a long time and it helps to educate the reader about its history okay using these visual devices although I can't show you the paper I can look at the common script I was talking about just now so you can see the the student was basically referring to to this this person who is dressed in very um, very traditional clothing and then here they, these are the modern people right so I, I guess the point here is that they're trying to show that the ICC has a very long tradition so as this student wrote we can go back to her essay it says the contrasting visual representation demonstrates how the writer manipulates visual images to achieve its purpose which is to educate readers about the history okay to show that it's a very historical um, organization and it operates and using a hum humorous method okay I guess I can show you another part of the cartoon which is in this in this text okay just one part of the cartoon so you can see this part is this elections are important because they add fresh blood to the ICC and that this is the judge blindfolded right so let's see and then there is a blood here adding fresh blood to this judge so let's see how the how the student writes about it the image of the blindfolded woman holding the scale represents what the ICC stands for the, the impartial deliberation to, to on the law however this image paired with the text next to it which states election are important because they add fresh blood to the ICC adds a comical tone to the text okay it's supposed to be funny the literal representation of fresh blood so you can see there was fresh blood just now right so the literal representation of fresh blood to the ICC through the blood being literally pumped into the woman demonstrates how the writer has manipulated visual images along with a simple sentence to indicate a need to shorten the re-election term of the ICC judge. So through the comic just now, basically the author is trying to convince the reader that the ICC actually needs fresh blood and therefore the re-election term should be shortened. There shouldn't mean it, it shouldn't take so long to re-elect a new judge, right? So you can see how how the student is trying to analyze this picture right here inside the text. Okay. Um, it, Basically, the purpose is to, is to convince the reader that there should be a shorter election term. Okay, so this is one of the secondary purposes of the text, right? So, with the two examples just now, I hope you sort of understand how how you should analyze the stylistic devices. It's a very long paragraph, as you can see here, but as I explained to you, to the two examples just now. Hopefully, you get it. Okay. 
And you can actually download this essay by filling in the form below. So you can just fill it in and we can send it to you. Okay? At the end of so this whole paragraph is about stylistic devices. Then as I mentioned to you just now, we move on to talk about the language, tone, and register. So let's look at this paragraph. Along with stylistic, formal, and visual devices, it should also be noted that throughout this text, the use of language, tone, re and register greatly gives insight to how the author achieves his purpose. Okay, so it talks about these, these three things. Okay, first he talks about the register. The register is an informal register, and it's and uh, the, the, visu the visuals are designed to be humorous. Okay, so a sarcastic tone is is being used okay so it's an informal register and a sarcastic tone is being used okay so it's designed to engage the reader so this is how this this is the impact the humorous the, the sarcastic tone in an informal register is designed to engage the readers okay and then the tone is also very conversational because these short forms are being used these contractions are being used so it's an informal tone as well so it's allowing the reader, the effect of this is allow the reader to easily follow the text, okay? And then also talks about the language, the simple language, simple syntax of the sentence and then the text box allows the reader to easily follow the text and identify with the main themes, okay? So you can see how the student analyzed these. Uh, language, the tone, and the register. So language is simple, the tone is um, informal, and it's, sorry, it's sarcastic, and it's also conversational, and the register is informal. And the impact of this is that it engages the reader and makes it easier for the reader to follow. Okay? Okay, so let's look at the conclusion. This is actually very simple. The conclusion, you just need to just briefly mention again the primary and the secondary purpose. Okay, so let's let's look at how the student concludes. In conclusion, it can be seen how the writer manipulates stylistic formal and visual and literary devices in order to evoke a certain response from readers. Okay, that's like that. You can write this kind of sentence in any response. From tone, factual evidences, and characters in the infographic, the writer not only educates the reader on the history of ICC and how it reelects its judges, but it also proposes criticisms to the readers about the ICC and how a need of need for change is necessary for it to be compatible with modern society. So you can see how just this this the student just basically briefly reinstated re restated the primary and secondary purpose and also talk about how like by manipulating these devices, visual literary devices, it is designed to evoke a certain response. Again, okay? and then this is the next she talks about the purpose. Okay, so this is the conclusion. Okay, so I really hope you find this lesson useful. As I said just now, if you want the free sample essay, please fill in the form below. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. If you have if you think this video is awesome, leave a comment as well. Okay, so thanks a lot for your support and hope to see you next time.